Last Saturday, Brothers hosted the inaugural Modified Rugby Showcase, powered by the Classic Wallabies and the Classic Wallaroos. A terrific day for people uh, who wanted to support children with learning and perceptual difficulties be part of the mainstream, Mr Speaker. And this is a testament to the hard work of the Ginger Cloud Foundation that was set up by Megan and Anthony Elliott. Their son, Max, was 10 in 2013 when they realised he had learning and perceptual difficulties and he was being excluded from being part of the mainstream. They wanted their son to play football. So they took him along uh, and he got pathology, speech, speech pathology, physio and other uh, assistance and a modified program was put together. Due to the work of Megan and Anthony Elliott, there are now 24 teams playing across three divisions. They are a division of the Australian Rugby Union now. I've been proud to be associated with them since the commencement of the program in 2014 down at Brothers in my part of the world. Uh, but more importantly, Mr Speaker, is the involvement of the kids and their mentors. The mentors get as much out of it as the kids who are playing. And to see 15 and 16 year old boys and girls, because it covers the spectrum, going onto the field and working with their charges to develop their skills, to turn them around, to point them in the right direction, to carry them on the field and to carry them off the field, to share the hugs and the joys of victory uh, and the lows of losses um, is part and parcel of it all. It is a tremendous program. It has been supported by the federal government. It's supported by the ARU. It deserves to receive the continuing support of the community. I congratulate the Ginger Cloud Foundation, brothers and all involved in the modified rugby program.